So hello induction phase, welcome year seven, year eight. Really, really good to be speaking to you today. I hope you're all really well and that you're adhering to social distancing rules as we all are. You certainly are being missed here at the academy and I can't wait to see each and every one of you. Now today's assembly, we'll be talking about LGBT and the awareness of it. Now you'll see on the screen of my presentation, lots of celebrities there. What do they have in common? They are members of the LGBT community. Now you'll see the Q, the LGBTQ part of the word there. The Q basically represents the identity of questioning. So anybody can question their, their gender or sexual identity and have the freedom to do so. Now it's really important that you understand that we all have a sexual and gender identity. This can differ from person to person and we don't all experience attraction in the same ways. So it's very personal to yourselves. Every individual person has that choice. And you should never feel pressured to make a decision or feel pressured into making a decision you don't necessarily want to. It's about yourself as an individual. There are many different ways people can identify as well. And some people may prefer not to have a label at all. And that, again, that's down to you. It's your discretion and your decision as a person. It's important to be respectful of this all the time. So if you have a friend that speaks to you and, re and relies on you, acknowledges something about themselves that they want to speak about, respect them. Be that listening ear, be that, that good guide that you want to be, be a friend. Now every year in June, um, celebrations take place across the world to promote equality and diversity and help to educate people on sexual and gender identities. So it's this month. I'm now going to show you a, a brief clip of some celebrations that took place in London every year um, through the streets of London, Oxford Street, etc. to celebrate LGBT community. Now Pride Month, it's really important for you to know as young people, came about following an event that took place in America at the Stonewall Inn in Manhattan. Now there are many examples of how you can support and celebrate people's identity, but think to yourselves, think about your tutor group, think about your year group, your phase, how we celebrate all of the time, all the amazing things that the individuals within our induction phase undertake. I touched upon in the previous assembly, the amazing spotlight nominations, People going the extra mile to support one another, their families, their friends, etc., their neighbours. So it's really important that we all work as a team and we are a community. And this is exactly what LGBT community encompasses, that support mechanism, having that friend, that person to rely on, that community to support one another. Really, really important. As an example of how we can all come together is a story of Gareth Thomas, the uh, Welsh rugby player. Absolutely fantastic sportsman but he's had a real tough time himself in, in, in ensuring that people can realise the person that he is and asking for that support from other colleagues, sportsmen and friends. I've now got a short clip that just talks about Gareth's life and how he moved forward with his decision. The sport we play, rugby, represents us on a huge scale. So to do it and to be living a lie, I suppose became really confusing. Three million people of a nation all wanting to be Captain of Wales, all wanting to be me, yet me wanting to be any one of them three million people. In the middle of a field, in a big game, or the heat of the battle, it is vicious. A broken nose or a broken finger is just a, a scrape. All you can kind of hear is the noise of people being winded, of bones being broken amongst this 30 crazy people vying for a rugby ball. 
The battle I was going through personally compared to the battles on the field were probably 10 times worse. I was physically strong, yet mentally so weak and so afraid. I wanted to be totally open and honest with everybody, yet I didn't want something so minor as my sexuality to define who I was. To hide that secret from the team was horrible. That team becomes like your family, the closest thing to you. If the crowd and the fans and the people of Wales ever found out, then I always worried about everybody would turn their back on me and they gave me something so positive, yet I couldn't give them something so simple as honesty. I got to a point where I couldn't sleep, I couldn't blink. I had this fear of the dark all of a sudden, so I needed at some point to find the strength to be able to tell the truth to people. And it was the moment when I played the one and only game I felt where I never was able to try. I've lost everything else in my life, and now the one thing I've done is I've lost myself within this team. And when I finished that game, I remember just being unable to stop crying. I think it was like a sign of desperation. Coach had come along and spoke to me. He went to look me in the eye, and when he asked me what the matter was, I managed to think to myself, is that the door has been opened and there's this slightest bit of light coming through. Now I either close that door or I boot it open as hard as I can and I just take the consequences of what's going to be on the other side. And I told him. I didn't have to say I'm gay, it wasn't all about that. He knew. He said to me, you can't go through this alone and these people love you. I just felt this overwhelming protection from everybody. In my mind, I'd built rugby as something that was so against everything I was that their reaction of just tapping me on the shoulder and kind of just saying, let's have a beer and get on with it, was almost in a way I was like, is that it? Is th seriously, is that all you got to say? Didn't even want to chat? And they're like, it doesn't matter. We want the Gareth Thomas back. We want the rugby player, the guy to lead us. That's what's more important to us. I know I've come through the hardest and toughest of times. There's absolutely nothing that could ever defeat me. Anything else that comes my way in life, if I can't handle it myself, then I can just go back to my teammates and they can help me get through it. I've done something that not many people can do, and that's as a child have a dream and grow up to be able to achieve it. And I'm very proud about my rugby playing career, but more proud of the fact that Wales supported me to play rugby, being Gareth Thomas, being the person that I am 100%. Now, Gareth's greatest fear, following that clip, as you can see, wasn't the opposition on the pitch. You know, you have to remember, he's a big rugby man, playing up against lots and lots of big men, strong individuals in that particular sport of rugby. But it was the fear of rejection from the game he loved. So sad that that's the way he felt, and it took him so long to come to the decision about his sexuality. We want our academy to be inclusive, the community we work in every day. We will not tolerate whatsoever bullying or discriminatory language. And for LGBTQ Pride Month, we want to be a visible ally to all identities. Now, what does being an ally mean? Well, it means visible, supportive and challenged. That's what we will be. We will support people around us on the decisions they make and who they want to be, how they want to live their lives, and we will not judge. How can we do this? Can you think of any allies in the academy? Whether it be your friends, your teachers, your tutor, etc., your year leader. We're all here to support one another. What can we do to support the people around us in the decisions they make? Are there any celebrity allies you can think of? Here's just a few. Lots of celebrities here are very vocal and supporting. LGBT, we have Prince William, Ellie Golding, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. All of these individuals are icons to us as celebrities and do an amazing job in all the different fields they undertake. They have a passion for ensuring that people in LGBT and other areas feel supported to make sure that they have a voice as well as the people that are suffering. So it's amazing that the work they undertake and supporting one another and supporting other people, friends, family, etc in making sure they have a voice. 
Now this month is a time for celebrating diversity, equality and identity. But remember, this should be recognised and celebrated every single day. Because as human beings, we have the right to be what we want to be and who we want to be. And I will certainly say that as a Belfair's member of staff here, member of your induction phase leader, I want you to be exactly who you want to be as individuals in induction phase. So, so important. There's a quote here from Nelson Mandela. To deny, deny people their human rights is to challenge their very humanity. We all have the right, the freedom of speech, the freedom to decide who we want to be as an individual. Sexuality and identity. But it's very important you remember, everybody's here to support you. And if you're sitting there watching this assembly and you feel you require some support, please speak to a friend, speak to your parents, speak to somebody at the academy, your tutor, a teacher, etc. Please don't be alone. Now, start of the month, I've already spoken about spotlights during our last assembly, year 7 and 8. But Mrs. Turner, your progress leader, has sent me this amazing list of students that have been performing so, so well during the lockdown period within their subject areas. Now, the list there, and all the students would have received a letter home already, recognising the hard work being start of the month during May, the month of May. But the following students have, in three or more subjects, consistently worked hard. So, Georgia, Florence, Ava, Oscar, Tamas, Grace, Grace again, Woody, Samuel, Holly, Abdi, and Hayden. Amazing work in three or, four, three or more subjects. However, there are two individuals who have been performing even better than that, working hard every single day, and have actually been recognised in four or more subjects. So, Aidan Poulton and Mia Power, congratulations to you. Absolutely outstanding work for Year 7 students. And I look forward to seeing lots of Year 8 students being nominated as well for this as Star of the Month. Please keep up the good work. I'm so, so proud of you. Now, I hope you've, you've taken something from today's assembly. And remember, to celebrate LGBT, look out for some of the clips online and some of the information, obviously, over the news, etc., in the coming days. Stay safe, stay at home, and stay focused. And I cannot wait to see you in the building in the future. Thank you, Induction Phase.